One of the great things about getting computers to do work for us is that they don't get bored. We can get computers to repeat the same task millions and billions of times. We can get it to wait millions of seconds before carrying out the next step. Or we can get them to do a task at 4 a.m. every single day for the rest of our lives. Hi, I'm Kevin and welcome to Do Learning where we learn by doing and do so that we can learn. Today, I'm going to show you a variety of techniques in JavaScript, which are going to allow you to control your robot army for the rest of time. Let's dive in. I create a new file called robot.js. And the first thing is a construct that most programming languages have, a while true loop. So inside my while loop, I want to log the time. So I'll initialize a console.time right here, and I'll run console.time log inside of here. Let's run that. So node robot. We can see here it's logging out lots of times a second and it'll keep going forever or until my computer runs out of power or until I kill this process. Now my computer's not gonna get bored here. It's gonna keep doing it as long as I want. But what if instead I wanted to pause one, 10, 15 seconds in between each run through my program. So if I want something to repeat every second infinitely, JavaScript has a structure called set interval. And set interval takes a callback and a number of seconds. So let's have one second, a thousand milliseconds, and then we'll console.time log inside of here. Let's run that. One second. Okay, so every second this code is going to be run. Now I'm running a time log here. You might think about pinging a server. You might think about checking a directory. You might think about um, emailing or checking system resources. There's so many things that you could be doing. And one second could be 10 seconds, could be 60 seconds, could be an hour. So we can have something running forever with our wild true loop. We can have something running every X number of seconds, which is great. What if we want something to run at a particular time every day, every month? How can we manage that? Well, to achieve that goal, I'm going to use a tool called Node Cron. Node Cron is an implementation of a Unix tool called Cron, which is a scheduling tool, allowing you to run processes every day, every month, and various time periods in between. To get it to work, we'll import it, We'll initialize with cron.schedule. We'll then say, hey, do this in with the star syntax and then do the job that's going to be there. And there are normally five stars in the Unix cron, but there are six in this one. I normally use this tool, cron tab guru, to remind myself what each of these mean. So if they're all stars, that means it's going to do it every minute. But if there are six stars, like node cron allows, that would mean it'd be every second. If there's a number here, it's going to happen in that time interval. So if I put one here, it doesn't mean it happens every one minute. It means it happens in every minute that is one. So at one minute past every hour. I can do a range of time. So one dash five is going to be one, two, three, four, five. I could do one slash five, which is every fifth minute from one through 59. And I could do one comma five, which is going to be the first minute and the fifth minute. So that gives me every minute. If I put a one here, that gets me 1 a.m., one minute past 1 a.m. every day. If I put it here, it's on the first of every month, one minute past 1 a.m. on the first of every month. If I put a one in here, that's the one minute past one on the first of January. And if I put one minute in here, it's on Monday in the 1st of January. So we have to wait for those things to happen simultaneously. You might think about a job where you want to, every Monday, can you run some reports and email them? Well, with NodeCron, you can do that. You say, well, what I'll do is I'll put a star there and a star there. And at 101 on Mondays, can you run this job? And I'll maybe we'll do some administrative jobs and then email out reports to, to you and your team. So let's install that and get it to work. I'll initialize my project and then I'll install node cron. I'll import it and then I'll schedule a task. Now, normally I'll do this at the top level and this could be happening alongside our web server 
We could have a web server running and some cron tasks running there as well, cleaning out temporary directories, running reports, things that we've chatted about already. So if we think about what this does, it takes our string. So if I want to do every second, I'll do six stars every second. And we can pass in a function here. So say hi. So I have a function called say hi. And all that's going to do is console log hi. And we'll also add the current date. Okay, so let's run our robot. So node robot. Every second now, we're going to get this hi comment happening here. With NodeCron, we have the ability to have more nuanced time factors. So whether or not you want your robots to check the latest news, run a report, ping seven websites to check if they're up, or email their partner on their birthday automatically, hopefully you can put some of these tools to use. If you find this video valuable, subscribe below. Thanks for being here. Bye.